Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Last week, we tackled the Eucharist as the sacrament of communion. We, as baptized Christians, are one body, one spirit in Jesus Christ. Today, we will continue our reflection on this sacrament. So come, join us. Let us recollect our thoughts on the Eucharist as the memorial of the ultimate sacrifice offered to the Father, the Passover of Jesus. Do this in memory of me. At Mass, we hear these words of Jesus uttered by the priest presider at the account of the Last Supper. This is done as a sign of obedience to the very command of Jesus and as a memorial of the only and ultimate sacrifice offered to the Father for the reparation of our sins. At ito ho ay walang iba kundi ang dakilang pag-aalay ni Jesus ng kanyang katawan at dugo ng kanyang buhay. In the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and the letter of Paul to the Corinthians, we read similar accounts of the institution of this sacrament. It is said that during the Passover, which happened to be the night before he was crucified, Jesus took bread, gave thanks to the Father, broke it, and gave it to his apostles, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he took the cup, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. Our catechism offers us a beautiful explanation of this discourse. It says, In order to leave them a pledge of this love, in order never to depart from his own and to make them sharers in his Passover, He instituted the Eucharist as the memorial of His death and resurrection and commanded His apostles to celebrate it until His return. This command of Jesus to repeat His actions and words until He comes does not only ask us to remember Jesus and what He did. This leads us at the liturgical celebration by the apostles and their successors of the memorial of Christ, of His life, of His death, of His resurrection, and of His intercession in the presence of the Father. Now you might ask, why is it called a memorial? We regard it as a memorial because it makes present and actual the sacrifice which Christ offered to the Father on the cross once and for all on behalf of humankind. Moreover, the sacrificial character of the Holy Eucharist is manifested in the very words of institution. Let us recall what he said, This is my body, this is the cup of my blood. Thus, it is wise to always remember that His sacrifice on the cross and the sacrifice we celebrate sacramentally in the Eucharist are one and the same sacrifice. Now, my dear friends, in the sense of the sacred scriptures, memorial is not merely the recollection of past events, but the proclamation of the mighty works wrought by God for His people. The Catechism also adds that in the liturgical celebration of these events, they become in a certain way present and real. And you know, dear friends, in the Old Testament, Passover was the time when the Israelites commemorated their liberation from Egypt. They made it present in their memory that they may renew their lives. This tradition, however, had a new meaning in the coming of Jesus in the New Testament. So now, when we celebrate the Eucharist, we commemorate and make present the Passover of Jesus Christ, His great sacrifice on the cross. Friends, we hope we have contributed to your learning today about the Eucharist in the perspective of memorial, the memorial of Christ's sacrifice. 
Let us bear in mind, as often as the sacrifice of the cross by which Christ our Pasch has been sacrificed is celebrated on the altar, the work of our redemption is carried out. Kaya mga kaibigan, huwag na tayong magpatumpik-tumpik pa. Halina ho kayo at dumalo sa banal na Eucharistia. Ating balikan at namnamin ang pagliligtas sa atin sa pamamagitan ng natatanging sakripisyo ni Jesus sa krus. Till our next meeting, may the good Lord bless us all.